Oh, hi, uh, Sustainability Modeling uh, Spring 2013 students. Uh, how are you? Um, this is going to be my last commentary uh, uh, for the class uh, to follow our last uh, lecture. Uh, so I'm just about to cry in front of the camera. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but I did think that I wanted to sort of offer some, some closing remarks uh, about the class um, and uh, a request uh, from you. So let me, let me go down my list, which I have here in uh, my little notes. Uh, I think the, the first thing I'd like to say is uh, that, you know, one of the objectives of, of having uh, created this class uh, in this format is to show the potential of using uh, modeling as an integrative tool. And basically, uh, modeling, as, as you'll see from the multiple examples that we have covered in the class, um, offers a possibility of uh, bringing in together several disciplines, uh, several sources of data, uh, several uh, approaches for um, modeling uh, different variables at the same time that I think has a lot of potential. Um, you know, I, and you've heard me say this before, um, you know, this type of modeling, particularly system dynamics, has been around for a long time, since the 1970s at least. Uh, but I think one of the reasons that it hasn't become more mainstream used is because, um, uh, you know, I think I think the, the state of current technology is going to allow to do more of this more frequently. Now you can run the system dynamics models on on, on very cheap and portable computers, uh, even on um, even on mobile devices. Uh, you are able to. Uh, 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 you know, easily integrate. Uh, these models are very small um, in, in size, so you can, you know, they're very easy to, to port, to email, to to post. So I think there's, a, you know, there's that component that I think technology has caught up uh, with the system dynamics theory that was developed, you know, 40 years ago. And I think now it's a, it's a, it's a, the time is very ripe for for this to to really take off. As a as a discipline uh, in itself, so I, hopefully this class will uh, will um, help to lay the ground for that type of interaction. So I hope you 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 enjoyed it from that perspective. Uh, I think the other thing I wanted to say is um, you know that the system dynamics is a nice platform to sort of integrate uh, you know these uh, these items together uh, and. Um, um, you know, some of you, and, 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 and rightly so, have pointed out that the, the software uh, the, the, that we've been using, it's, uh, it's a little bit retro, and I, and I, and I agree. Uh, it's, it's just that it, it is what it is right now, and I think um, the more the system dynamics is used um, uh, to do things, the more these, these tools will, will develop and become better. So I think also, from a software development perspective, I think... Uh, there's a lot of opportunity, so I, I hope that that you know you've uh, you know you've understood that as well. Uh, the the types of um, the types of approaches and models and and um, formulations that we see in this class, uh, I've I, I hope we may we may be able to show that it has the potential to be used in real world applications and and there are you know if you look at the literature there are lots and lots of case study applications if you look at the um, uh, the website for the International uh, Institute for Applied Systems Anal Analysis uh, that we've discussed in this class, you'll see a lot of uh, a lot of applications, a big community of users and developers, um, and so hopefully uh, this will be a good resource to you if you if you plan to use or if you think that system dynamics modeling can be a good tool for your for your own use. I think it will. I think it it uh, it has the ability to impact any just about any field in which you're handling data and integrating sources of information and trying to make decisions. I think the, the decision-making capability of system dynamics is something that's been um, probably underappreciated, but I think right now, because of the reasons that I already mentioned, it has the potential to really, you know, really uh, become more mainstream. Um, in terms of, uh, I'm going to, you know, after I grade all the papers, uh, which I'm just getting in now, and, um, and have the opportunity to post the grades, I'm going to ask you, first of all, I'm going to keep the Facebook page uh, for the group. I think it's a resource that's really no reason to take it off. But I'm, I'm going to ask of you uh, for uh, your input in how we can improve this class. And I, you know, in teaching this class, I can already think about you know ten things that I would you know do differently and change. Um, but I like to have your input. And I'm in, in in my request, which I'll I'll put on the Facebook page. Um, and if you 
you know, if you don't want to uh, get me uh, your comments on the Facebook page, you can always do it anonymously or privately. Certainly, you can put a you can put a little note on your Dropbox, and I can I look look at it there if you want, or whatever means you think it's appropriate. But I I really like to get input from you. Uh, there's um, a total of about 25 students or so that took this class. Um, and uh, I think that this input is going to be very valuable um, because I do plan to further develop this class. I want to offer it again very soon, probably in the fall. Um, and I really want to have uh, you know some changes made from you know from the format to the technology that we're using. Uh, so any 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 comment is, is going to be very valuable. So I'm going to be sending that uh, note to you, uh, that request. Um, uh, over the next couple of days while I finish, um, you know, doing all the grading and all the posting of grades and everything like that. So it's been my pleasure. You, you, can, you can see that I'm very excited about this class. It's been my pleasure to offer it and, and interact with you. Uh, hopefully you learned um, uh, something valuable, a, a new skill. I think, it's, uh, I think it will be, you will find that this is going to be a very, very valuable skill to you. And uh, please use me as a resource. I mean, we're going to leave the page open. If there's anything that I can provide further support with, I'd be happy to. Um, and I look forward to more interaction. Thanks uh, for hanging in there for the entire semester. <laughs> um, it's been a wild ride, um, but it's been fun. Uh, at least I had a blast, um, and I hope you did too. Okay. So with that said, I bid adieu, and uh, I look forward to, to seeing you uh, in the cyberspace uh, sometime soon. Take care, guys.